Hi, my name is Mark Dahl. Welcome to Little Green Man. Uh, it, there's been a couple of laws that have been put forward, uh, one uh, federally, another actually here in Manitoba. The laws are, are fairly identical. And the first one was actually brought forward by Rona Ambrose, who was the interim leader for the Conservative Party of Canada, uh, st stepping in when Stephen Harper um, uh, pulled out, when he resigned the, the position of leader. And she's put forward this legislation that will restrict federal judges' appointments um, to, um, to those that have uh, undertaken training from, uh, about myths and stereotypes surrounding rape, um, as, as well as the existing rules of what evidence is relevant in sex assault cases. Now, this is procedural stuff. Here's what constitutes uh, good, what constitutes good and bad evidence in sexual assault cases. Uh, here are some things that are true and things that are false. So um, get your emotion out of it. And you know, obviously many uh, people who that will be hearing these cases are going to be men and men are going to have this, particularly old men, old privileged men who have been able to find themselves in positions of power, um, may have a less, um, uh, but maybe more tolerant to sexual crimes by other men. And that's the that's part of the problem, um, that victims are often blamed. And I don't know how many times over the years that I've seen or heard of cases where rapists get off with time served sometimes, sometimes with a suspended sentence. Um, and it's really quite disheartening, it's quite frightening too that these people who may well end up becoming sexual predators get off scot-free and the women who get assaulted, and it's not just women as we're hearing on the news of the things that are happening, um, in, um, in Hollywood and with people coming out of the woodwork. It's not just women that are getting sexually assaulted. Men are going to get sexually, and do get sexually assaulted as well. So all that she's asking for, all Ambrose is asking for, is that there is a, a certain level of training so that the people who are making these judgments can make judgments based on information and not based on emotion. So based on facts and based on reality, not on wishy thinking or on um, I'm just hoping that it goes away because I don't see it as a serious crime. Now another bill has been brought up uh, here in Manitoba I was actually really quite excited to see was actually this is an NDP MLA um, uh, Nani Fontaine I hope I pronounced her first name right um, um, I'm sure I didn't but apologies um, who is an NDP MLA I think I said that already um, and a bill is very similar to Ambrose. The idea is that both um, suggest that there will be uh, bodies overseeing the judges so that uh, they can report about their educational training, make sure that they understand uh, and, um, and use the, tra the training in, um, in, in, their, um, uh, in the, the hearings and stuff so that they can then bar them from hearing sexual assault cases if they haven't done it. And it seems reasonable. Why would you want someone that doesn't know very much hasn't done the training on a particular job to do the job where you wouldn't do it. Uh, health and safety won't let, even let you um, carry a, a box unless you've got your still toe caps on. So why can't we just have one just little thing here just to make sure that the judges are going to be fair judges by knowing the facts ahead of time. Now, of course, the progressive conservatives are all in favour of this. Oh, no, they're not. Um, but they say it goes too far. Um, and Justice Minister have a Heather uh, Stephenson said that we respect the judiciary's independence. That um, said that the bill violates that that, that principle and would likely um, uh, fail a constitutional challenge. Well, I say, let's let's give it a go and see if it does, because if it's something that's never been done before, we've not in insisted on it, then it probably will, and you've got nothing to worry about. But if you're doing something similar with them already then that's really not an argument at all. And guess what? It is. Stephenson even agreed that Manitoba's, uh, uh, she's, she's, uh, Manitoba's Chief Justice already administers training for judges and justices of the peace for at least 10 days per year as of last spring. That includes the Domestic Violence and Stalking Act. So putting a few extra days in there, or even one day um, on on rape, will be absolutely make them completely and totally not independent. Well, you know what? They're not supposed to be wholly independent. They're not supposed to be independent of truth, independent of facts. They are supposed to be independent of their 
pure emotions, and if they're going to allow their pure emotions to judge a case, then they don't deserve to be in there. They should not be in there. We want someone that's going to judge the case on its merits based on the facts at hand. And Ambrose is all in favour of working. Um, she wasn't aware of that there was another bill, a similar bill, but she's really happy and suggests that both parties, that the NDP and the federal um, conservatives, should work together to figure out a solution. But really, in the, in, in the, in the end of it, it's, uh, it just comes down to the competency of the people judging these, these cases, is that they should be competent. And if they don't have the training on something that is not intuitive, it really isn't, that how can they judge fairly and how can they look after the well-being of the victim? Well, they can't. They really can't. So I think kudos for Ron Ambrose and for um, Nani Fontaine. Uh, kudos on you. I support your holiness. I agree with you 155 bazillion percent. Okay, only 100 percent is possible, but you you get what I'm saying. That I hope this goes through, and I will be following it to hope that see if one or both of these do pass. So, good news that people are talking about this now. It's a shame that it, that there are don't seem to be any men that are standing up and and giving this some weight as well. Um, but it's two brave women coming out and talking about a very serious subject. Um, it's excellent, it's brilliant. Um, and the only downside of this story, I mean, it's a really downside. I'm being really petty here. I can't believe I'm within praising Rona Ambrose, progressive, cons sorry, the Conservative Party, former leader. It's depressing. But well, at least she's doing a good thing. Let's support her. Little Green Man.